the best way to get rid of Sarisha is find somebody that doesn't know what it is and sell him the property. Well, it was introduced as a forage eons ago and has a wildlife cover. And it doesn't do a very good job of doing either, except it uh, is very persistent. It's a perennial and uh, it's, it uh, invades uh, all kinds of country, road, roadsides, forests, uh, prairies, grasslands, and uh, nothing really wants to eat it. Insects don't really use it. Wildlife don't eat the seed very well or browse it. So it's one we, if we just leave it go pretty soon, that's, it takes over everything and it suppresses everything that would grow with it, like native grass or about anything else. So just ignoring it and saying, oh, I don't want to mess with nature isn't going to solve the problem. You have to physically go after this. Mowing is not going to control it. Uh, burning won't control it. It's, it likes to be burned and come up from seed and, and the rootstock from burning. So it has to try to, two solutions to it. One's a, just a use of it, and that's grazing it with goats. We'll keep it down low, but never kill it. Yeah. Herbicides are the only thing that actually wipes it out. We, we can control, somebody says, do we have a good herbicide? Well, we have some. It's not how, how well we can kill that plant. It's how long can we keep it, kill it, and the roots, the seeds that are in the ground that are gonna last for years, that keep coming back. So it's not just a one, done, one and done deal. It's a, it's a long-term, management problem.